Hello and welcome back to EU4 with the Warcraft mod, where we're playing as Ironforge and we are where we are slowly, relatively speaking, very slow because that's what we are in, doing in reality. Let's see how this. Yeah, where we are incredibly slowly trying to, uh, you know, take back control over our nation. I want to get you know, these forces to resupply on the background a little bit. Okay, the core province, good. Let's see, 92 and Cold Ridge Pass. Okay. Stone Splinter being attacked by who? My Winter Axe. Damn trolls. You can make states. Well, that state is up. Nomragan. Let's take a look at it. Um, Nomragan again, exterior. We got Nomragan, Anvilmar, and the first main tunnels. So, this is what their core territory is, actually. To Gilnane, Conquest of Dalaran. So this is also new. Um, Dalaran pays some money, full annexation. Uh, yeah, Dalaran mostly lost some units, but... Uh, you know, what's to be expected? Dalaran will be blown up. Yeah, can't help it. What? That's something I haven't looked at yet. Feudalism, institution spread. Leaders without upkeep plus one. What is this exactly? I have never looked at this. Oh, we have too few rivals. We can have rivals. Uh, well, let's, you know, add our own rivals to it. Like Quel'Thalas, which is far too big, but, but who cares? Blackrock makes sense. And Twilight's Hammer, which also makes sense. Which is also fairly big. Alright, we've got rivals. We can have a technology. We can build ground temples. Aren't we lovely? Um, some of our provinces lack cores. Alright, I don't have the points for that. The states demand provinces. As usual. It's a territorial core. Uh, base manpower or barracks. Let's go for training grounds. So that's also some events. I've I don't know if that's normal. Those events, but I have never seen them before. But then again, I haven't really played anything on this patch, so yeah. Oh, let's get you to some territory where you are not suffering any attrition, because that would be a waste of manpower. Alright, let's uh, boot you. Get more monies. Okay, we financially we at least financially survived this war for once. That's a good thing. That is a good thing indeed. Okay, we can invest in a new idea. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna first do the uh first get the attack up. Supply limit. It's not that important, but I think it's you know important that we have something there. So what else is there to do? Not really too much right now. There's just some... Yeah, we're just waiting for us to kind of recuperate. Um, yeah, estates demand control, la da 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 Well, a rebel uprising for frost main independence. Um, okay, yeah, that is mildly problematic. So which estate demands control? Uh, nobility. Well, you're gonna have to afford, I guess. Makes sense. Okay. Interested in a new idea? No, we're not gonna go for the attack. Go for the attack. Um, it will rise up either in here, here. Okay, so let's just up the autonomy to slow it a little bit. And. Can I run the army full out and still make money? Yes, I can. Good. I'm gonna park you right there. 
Uh, I'm probably just split the regiments. In a mission, win over the people. Average non-overseas autonomy is less than five. These are hard missions, by the way. Jesus. Because I think that's impossible to get because we've got the estate autonomy. Uh, let's just wait a second. Uh, they're probably gonna do the annoying thing, aren't they? Yeah, just go in there. Oh wow, we're taking a lot more damage than I was anticipating. A crap crossing here as well. Probably should have wasted for full manpower, uh, full uh, recovery. Okay. Still got the idea. I'm losing money now. Let's go to discipline here real quick. And now the, the annoying thing is the conversion here is what's kind of takes the biggest hit. Come on, can I get the morale full? We've become one of the great powers. I did not expect to become one of the great powers so soon. This probably means that one of the empires has fallen because our This rank must be Stormwind. So one of the empires just fall, fallen out of control, uh, out of favor for it. Okay, so okay, is this guy still here? Good. Um, is this still the decision that we can take to boost? No, we. How long do we have that decision? Uh, for another four years. Okay, that's good. We can put the clergy in here. Um, that would boost this by a lot as well. Okay. Uh, we no longer need you. Get the hell out of there. Uh, let's lower maintenance. Corruption doesn't exist right now. Not, not too much. Actually, it doesn't, so. Okay, what does the tavern do? Um, let's go to buildings, tavern, large mine, mine. Lumber mill, farm. Trade value. Yeah, let's go for production because I don't care much with trade value. So I'm going to own the entire node anyway. Let's see. Uh, they got any rebels? No. Uh, sabotage reputation, infiltrate administration. Let's do that. And uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Awesome, being one of the great powers gives us other uh, diplomatic uh, stuff, like... Uh, you will pay off their entire debt, we can influence them towards our viewpoint. What does it do? As a great power with influence towards they will also receive one more point, carry their weakest in kernel. Well, they trust their chances by five, there will be some time for us to correspond to them. So, there will be one time cost for us corresponding to 12 months of their income to carry out a polit political maneuver. So we just gain trust with them. Why would I want to do that? To force somebody to become an ally of me, well, I guess. Intervene in a war and we can force them to break an alliance. Well, they have no wars nor alliances going on, so... I don't give a crap. Okay, we got a little bit of supply. Good. And we can move a little bit of extra army everywhere. Uh, intervene in a war between great powers. The Amanids fighting with our... Okay, so this is actually a war I want to, you know, let go. Um, why? Well, this is a big-ass fight going on here between the Armani Troll Empire here in the north. Armani, Armani, I'm sorry, and Quel'Thalas. However, Gilneas and... Ooh. Strong will probably be unlikely to intervene. Iron happened to us. Richmond cost minus 4%. That's good. Um... Admin power, uh, diplomatic power, military power, manpower. I don't need really neither of that. Our coffers are worryingly light, yeah, because we need to pay off our debt. That is a genuine issue we are having. So every little bit that helps, just fifty ducats. Damn, Stormwind, I like you. I like you. I didn't really help you in our war, so. Hmm. Do we still have an alliance? 
Even though I kind of chickened out our war. Oh, it was so good. We're still on good terms. Let's see. Fabricate claims on... This, it's called Bruno Village. That's definitely mine. Dark Iron. Okay. Wait, you're rivals with Jellyneck? Why would you do that? Silly little goose. Okay, so get attack Stone Spitters even here. Eh, just go for Frostmate. Just, you know, clear out our own backyard. Makes a lot more sense to me than uh, anything else. Well, there it is. Stormwind is losing more and more territory here. They're just everywhere immediately. That's what surprises me. So, Blackrock, right? This must be an event-based war. Conquest of Stormwind. Could they just flop out of everything? There's just immediately there's Blackrock armies like everywhere. And I don't even know where Blackrock is. Oh, they're here, right here. This must be ally territory, I guess? Shadow Eye. No, oh, these are gnolls. Huh. Shall we just be the great power that we're supposed to be and just intervene in this war? As it probably should. Wait, you got attacked and you got a river crescent pilot. Damn maneuver leaders, man. No, well, I don't know what happened there. Oh god. We will never arrive in time to win that fight for them. Okay, who won that fight? They did, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, so there's now a large 35k stack. Now there's 35,000 units here, but not all of them are hostile. This is Goldtooth Land. Okay, who are we at war with exactly here? Oh, so this is Twilight Hammer of Elven Forest. Okay, so this is all Twilight Hammer now. Okay. Oh crap. Okay, so this is bad. Well, we were gonna retreat back home. Oops, I made a mistake. I don't know how we would be able to win this. Stormwind, how many allies do you have? Your Ultrarock. But Ultrarock will never be capable of helping you. Besides, they're in their own little war. Apparently. No, that's just... No, there it is. just a war, but they will not be able to set forces, I think. Other than that, they have to do it by naval... This looks like they can... Yeah, this look... They could do that by navy. They're probably not going to. Thought one of our leaders died. Great. Okay, let's get a new military leader in there. I'm not gonna put my immortal guy, because he's a 4 for 4. See, this is a, that's a nice. Okay, so... Clearly... You... Have no plans of... Going... Okay, now you have good plans going back. I'll join you. As far as we know, we have 60,000, can 70,000 of them. Conquest of Stormwind. Just gonna sit here and assist in the fights, I guess. Eh, we might as well take some territory back. We should have a lot of allies just walking around doing annoying stuff, but uh, let's see, this is Red Gill. You're worth a bleeding hollow and a burning blade. That's good, right? Because that would mean... Can I just get look at your political thing? So you're at war with, yeah, some of these guys. Oh, that's interesting. That should, might give us a bit more of an advantage. Um, oh god. Please arrive in time. Oh god, no, this is just not gonna happen. They have way too much. And I think what we have is spread out or non existent. Let's take a look real quick. Ah, this is the last war. I'm not gonna waste any more manpower on this. I'm sorry, Stormwind, it's as it is. You're a drain on my resources. They will probably just keep pushing though. Ah, crap. How am I gonna do that? First of all, 
Oh. So what you just see here, Old Town has now been taken. Uh, there's an, an event they can have, which in the Conqueror Province they can completely take it immediately. Um, it's a bit weird, but uh, yeah, it works for them. They have far too many soldiers. <laughs> I don't think um, so. The modifier they're having, by the way, is scary. I don't know if I can look at look it up, but is there a way to look at modifiers of which the, your enemies have? Probably not, but it's in the ledger or something like that. Country, state, possible colonies, previous rulers. Let's take a look through this, see if there's a window that I'm like, oh yeah, I recognize that. Religion. There's traits, this is leader traits, personalities. These are general traits. These are current rulers, so there are some more immortal rulers. Holy Roman Emperors. Oh, this is Shadow Pan system, probably uses that. Okay, uh, armies, navies, army losses, naval losses, national uh, regiment, ships, and calm comparison. No, this is just charge, technology, cost, loans. Trade notes, trade goods, strategic goods, good. No, I don't think there is a way to meet. check that from here. Well, Stormwind is going to decay as a great power. They did initially lose the walls, um, as far as I remember, um, but this is probably not a good thing. The Twilight Hammer out is taking way too much land, more than uh, I would like to see. Repay that loan. Plus, we're not doing too fancy on manpower, you know. So we probably should just forge out an empire from here and then start liberating stuff. Stormwind has no arm, longer, longer an army left. They're gonna decay. Development. Is all based on development? This is, the rating is the development divided by current technology cost. Okay. Okay, we no longer have them infiltrated. Well, let's just keep... Well, uh, you know, uh, no, not counter espionage, just fabricate the claims that we want. Okay, we can go attack. Let's move it early. That's fine, nearly armor tradition. Okay, so... God, just retreat from this fight. Yeah, that's 100%, mate. There's no... Great, I had to renew alone. Dude, I don't want to fight you! It's like more and more, it's just flowing out of the gates. Stormwind seeds like all of its land. Right now, I've got my army stuck. Great. Okay, send it back. I'm gonna break my lines with Stormwind, I guess. I don't know what to do here. I wish I could help them, but I can't. They're weak. They're so incredibly weak, and they just drag me down in their wars, and I don't want to continue doing that. You guys are going to keep your army there? Oh, that's just peachy. I, hate, I loved what AI adjusted. They're like, oh yeah, my armies are, you know, they cannot do anything here, but uh, definitely not going to move them. Definitely not going to move them. So, yeah, let's up that. Our heir. Yeah, luckily, uh, you know, he will never be our heir. Okay, so, we're still stuck in the position that we were at. Um, 
before, so but nothing really changes. I don't know really what to do now, because I want to help Stormwind, but I don't think I can in a, our current position. Um, so, um, let's see, Cold War Arms, Stromguard, Black Dragonflight. Yeah, sure, I'll help, but uh, don't count me on actual helping. Let's first, you know, no, I'm not going to do the War Texas thing. Ah, well, we'll wait the next year to do the tech as well. Um, just doing something in the background here, just real quick. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, we have money. Nice. Can we repay the loan? Nope, not yet. Oakley Dokley. Kind of peeved that he doesn't leave his uh, forces. All right, we're officially out of debt. That's awesome. Right, there we go, January. Got the, both the tech ups, and we've got some corruption growing. Just reduce it a little bit. Alright, so they're gonna attack again. I'm actually gonna break my alliance with Stormwind. Um, because it's just leading towards. Um, more and more issues. I don't want to fight these wars anymore. And yes, I will have a border with them eventually. That's right, I will, but... At least it gives me time to, you know, wage my own wars. Build up on the backside of this. Foster clock. <sighs> they are still considered a great power. No, they're not. They're no longer a great power. To March 1913. But the Twilight Hammer is now actually surpassed us as well. Well, great. Speaking of being great things, we have a manpower issue. Let's see, we can get, a, get about 500 there. We don't have actually have that high manpower ratings anywhere. Well, whatever. This 20k stack should be enough to keep those trolls at bay. So, um. It's an 11, 20, 14. Decline, sorry, Stormwind. I cannot do this. Not right now! Okay, we've got some provincial unrest growing again. Wait, how are we on that religion vote? Conversion stop due to what? Due to lack of that. All right. So probably should up our tree a little bit as well. Now we get that minute missionary strength up and running. First, we need to wait till the um, the little rebels are uh, you know fifteen percent chance. That's ah, gonna happen. This would be a better place for a fort, by the way, I just noticed. Hmm. Let's see, I'm just trying to think of what we're gonna take next. Either probably just Coldbridge Valley and just try to get as much of the Nomergon uh, exterior. Leave them with the troll caves, then we'll take uh, the troll cave system. Okay, I definitely should build a fort here. Because that makes sense. That makes total sense.
Uh, probably should do tech first. We get barracks. Yeah, cavalry fire. That makes sense. Hmm. We could have advisors, but for now, let's just run with getting some money, get some basic infrastructure up and running. That kind of shit, so we could just do these wars, become more powerful due to that. Um, there's not much, really much development we're going to be able to take here, but... Um, you know, it's something. And with that, I'm actually going to end the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.